Hello designers and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at one of the products uh, called Gusset Plate. If you are on this page, you can just go to one of the thumbnails. Uh, you can see the thumbnail says if you enter Gusset in a coupon, then you can get it for free. Uh, sorry, I had to do that. I wanted to just to say free, but uh, with the system I'm using, uh, it's impossible for, for it to, to say free here. So um, if you just enter the word Gusset in the coupon, uh, you can download this for free. Right, so let's get started. If you open the folder that contains the files that you downloaded, you'll see there is an IPT file and a material library file. So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna put them in a temporary place. Then we're gonna just load the material library onto the model and then save the model to the inventor templates, right? So I'm just gonna go to inventor and we're gonna open that file. Okay, so the form pops up. Uh, we're just gonna close this for now. We're just gonna load the material library. So to do that, you go to that little icon there called materials. The bottom left corner, you'll see that little icon. Uh, we're just gonna go open an existing library. Then you select the material library that, that came with the model and go open. Then you notice the list here updates. Okay, so now the the material library is loaded. So now you can just go save and exit this model. Copy these two files onto the inventor templates. All right, so to do that, we go to an inventor, the projects window. We're gonna go to the folder options. We're gonna go and right click on templates and go edit. And we're just gonna copy this path and then open a new explorer window. And you just paste that path in there. Okay, now here I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it iLogic Models. Nope, oh, not that one. iLogic Models. Then I'm just going to take the two files, copy them, and paste them in this window. Right, I'm going to close this window. And then now in Inventor, I'm just going to say New you'll see that folder uh, that we just created, our logic models, and there is your, your model, right? So go to create, and this is your gusset, okay? So now we can just go to the forms tab, and then the first uh, a button called gusset parameters, I'm gonna click on that, so it opens the form, and then here you get a little diagram and then uh, just a couple of dimensions corresponding to that diagram. Okay, so if we just go and say the length, which is the L, uh, let's change it to 200. Let's make the width uh, 130. Okay, and then the thickness, that's the thickness of the plate. Uh, we can make that eight. And then the straight edge X, so that's the X dimension on the diagram. Okay. You can specify what you want to do with that corner over there, right? You can say it's a chamfer in the model. It's this corner here, or you can say fill it. Just put surrounding in, and you'll notice that uh, that the dimension pops up, so you can change the dimensions, right? Uh, okay, chamfer is the same. Uh, let's just change that, and then um, you get none as well. So none is just a 90 degree corner, okay? Then the materials, uh, this is your list of materials. Uh, you can just uh, choose any one you like here. But let's say you want to add your own material, and um, I can quickly show you how to do that. So if we just close the form, and we go to the rules tab, and then the material list, we right click on that rule and say edit. Okay, and then this is your material list, so you can just copy one of them and then paste it and then just rename it how you see fit. Okay, and then you just go save and run. In my case, I'm just going to go cancel. But then you have to load that material on your material library as well. So then you just go to your material library. Okay, and then you can just enter or take any one of these and then right click on one and go duplicate. 
and then you can rename it. Uh, just remember that this name has to be exactly the same as the name you entered in your material list. Okay, and then you can just go and edit that material. You can change its appearance and you can change its physical properties. All right, I'm going to go back to the form. Okay, I'm just going to go and change it back. And then you just have an indication of mass. Um, so that would just tell you how much it weighs. And then you can specify uh, if you want a cutout. So you can just tick and untick that. So it just it's now just a solid. Uh, or you can uh, just enter a cutout like that. And then the cutout size, it's just this size over here from the edges. Um, so you can go 20. You can see that update. If you go if you go too low on, on this size, um, what it's going to do by default then is just going to go right back up and I think it uses the plate thickness. So if you want to go in 3, it would go back up to 8. So it uses that thickness here. Right? The same if you go too far, it does the same thing. Right? And that is how this model operates. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any questions regarding this model, uh, please don't hesitate to ask on the on the forum page or um, on the video description um, section. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in our next tutorial. As always, please visit our website. You can download iLogic 3D models over there, as well as visit the forum uh, where you can ask specific questions and get the answers from the masters.